Peace. What's good, people? Y'all know who it is. It's the two-time ATL's hottest DJ, the God, DJ Agony, also known as Dr. Dope. Well, my motto is simple, own the building. Damn, I don't know how to go behind that, my boy. <laughs> Shit. But, uh, DJ knew we were able to check in, man. Whole lot of Miami shit, whole lot of Atlanta shit, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, and then who we at with it, man? You know? I'm a nigga from the bottom trying to get to the top. You did. Yes, Lord. Uh, I was 12 and I saw Juice. And, and from there, you know what I'm saying? I used to go to the little school dances, couldn't dance, so I just hung around the DJ. And shoot, after a while, I ended up standing in his spot and standing next to him, just watching what he was doing. And shoot, I got to college. I got to college, I said, this is what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I killed off a good four years of uh, supposed to be an engineer. But yeah, now nah, I learned how to DJ in that time. And it really honed my craft, learned the business, you know? All right, um, I, I guess I'm the stereotypical person. I love music, you know? Music was dope. Uh, music was an avenue to, to live. Um, went to a party uh, my freshman year in college. I was at Clark. Uh, freshman year, went to a party. My homeboy was DJing, I guess. And uh, my boy got too lit. He got too crazy. Uh, and he like slept, he's like passed out. So they was like, play some music. I was like, well, I like music, so let me play some music. And I kind of started, it was a, a vibe from there. Uh, the next week, I'm buying equipment. Uh, I bought my first controller. Uh, I was using my school laptop that should not have been used for DJing. Uh, <laughs> it was definitely assignments on there, but uh, yeah, man, we just went up from there, and we, we're here now. Yeah, man, big shouts out to the Alpha House at Clark. I spent many nights in there. Oh, boy. Yeah, right there. <laughs> um, be creative. Don't be, don't be afraid to be who you are, just trying to fit in with what you think is the trend. Be creative, you can end up setting the next trend. Um, that's one thing. Also, have your business together. Don't come up to me with yeah, a flash sir, drive man. with about 40 uh, instrumentals, half done songs man. and all that. I remember back in the days with CDs, if you came up with a CD and you didn't at least have your name and your contact info on it, I gave it back. It's like, it's incomplete, you know what I'm saying? And then CD pressing was cheap back then. Like, you could have got it pressed. Uh, what was they doing, like 50 cents a CD back then? Right. If, if, if <laughs> that, that was much, 35 cents a CD. So, you know, a Memorex with a Sharpie was acceptable, but if you really want to impress me, come with something professionally pressed. Even if with, it's a sticker. Like, even if it's a sticker. If it's but a sticker. the main thing is name, contact information. A crowd, mm. and that's, that's that's real big for me. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Mm. Show me that. What show me that the people around you take you as seriously as you take yourself. That's the main thing. Um, I think that a lot of artists they come in, they want to throw you their music, but don't even be like they want you to play their music immediately. I'm cool on that. Mm. I got a whole I got a whole vibe already. I don't know your music. You don't know how your music is gonna react to a crowd. So what you're giving me is a curveball to me. Chance, chance my dance floor. Mm -hmm. Chance my bar. Mm -hmm. Chance my door, which means you're chancing my money. Mm -hmm. At that point, you're playing my money. We, we don't do that around here. But the biggest thing is visibility. You gotta show people that you're not always there to perform. A lot of people underestimate the power of networking. Not everything should be a paid day. Although money, money do cost, but at the same time, pull up to a club that, that you don't want to perform at, that you're not playing your music at. See who's around you, see the vibe, and network from there to build your own brand, to build yourself up. You know, a lot of people, they want to, they want the prize without taking the journey, and we gotta, we gotta respect the journey to get to the prize. A lot of people don't do that. They want to microwave their career, and they, they fizzle out real quick. YouTube links. Yo, uh, half done songs. Like that's always gonna be a thing. Like if your song is in mixed, massive, press and ready for radio play, yeah, don't, don't come in here with the with the rough cut from the studio. Right, man. you got to give me, you got to give me a, a, a DJ pack. And and don't bring me your phone. 
you know that that is that's probably with the camera with my mic i'm right here that is the most <laughs> annoying thing you could do to a dj is walk up with your phone and say play my song and think it because the thing is one of the things is they don't understand the technical part when you plug in that auxiliary it's gonna come through different through that mixer. It's gonna come through different through that those club speakers. It's not gonna sound how it sound in your car or on your oh phone. Oh my god! That, that's away. the technical side of it. But two, that shit just annoying. I plug your shit in. It's low, so I got to. I have to actually I go into DJ it mode. It <laughs> and I, I'm not even the DJ at that point. I'm a producer at that right. point. So I gotta level you <laughs> out. And then A and R. <laughs> right. And then what happens? Somebody gonna call. Phone gonna ring. Right. So now we in the club. Do, 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 do. And another thing is they want to meet you while you working. A lot of DJs come out to show face to see what's going on in the city, to see, see what kind of motion is going on. So if I'm working, like, shoot me an email, my boy. After my email real quick, I'm shooting my email, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm not trying to have no conversation with you. No offense to nobody. I respect you as an artist, but respect me as a DJ at the same time. Therefore. We got to do that. We got the respect got to be there. And, and first things first. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm DJ New Era, bro. What's going on? I see you. Hey, first thing they say is, hey, bro, you play this? We can't do that. We got to respect the game. We got to respect the motion. Got to. But um, the worst thing is really the lack of, the lack of, what's the word I'm looking for? Taking the shit serious. Like, mm. like, for real, for real. Like, if you don't like your shit, but you want me to like your shit, you gotta tell me from the get go, hey bro, my name blah blah blah. I'm from blah blah blah. I got the new shit. Check me out later. Hit me up. Let me know what you like it. But then I'm building a rapport with you as an artist. Mm -hmm. So you come on a Friday, give me your music. I play it Saturday, Sunday, wherever my, my leisure time. Hey bro, I like your shit. I'm having some shit this Thursday. Pull up. I can tell my promoter, hey listen, I got this guy. I done heard him. I can vouch for him. That'll get you more exposure from me. And me, more exposure from you because you bringing people to see me now. Mm -hmm. But I'm also bringing people to see you as well. We just got to take it serious. It got to be, uh, we, gotta, we, we can't microwave. We got we to gotta crock pot this thing. Mm -hmm. Slow cook. They got to be willing to perform any and everywhere. They, they, they got to be humble. Whether, it, whether it's 50 or, or 5,000 5, or 50,000. It's, it's five people. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Cause some, cause some of them would come into a venue and see it's not a lot of people, they'll leave. But like if, you, if everybody had that mindset, nobody would ever come. Right, but you didn't hurt the venue by leaving. Right. <laughs> you hurt yourself, cause did not bring nobody. And cause you hurt yourself, cause that, you if nothing else, that was your chance to at least hone your craft, get right. better at what you do on the stage. Stage presence is another big thing. Like. That really need to learn stage presence, little little technical stuff. Yeah, it don't cuff small the shit. don't cuff the head of the ball, don't of the mic, don't yell into the mic, don't turn your back to the crowd. Like these are the and have a show mix. I'm gonna say that all. I'm gonna say it over and over again. Man, he preaching now. Gotta have a show mix. He preaching. Give me a show mix. <laughs> I don't want the the music that you send me on our initial visit. I don't want that same track when you perform. Mm -mm. Because what you gave me was something for me to listen to you, how you how you perform, and how I could incorporate you into my set. The second thing is gonna be, listen, I know what to do, I, I, I know the song. If, I, if, if I'm your DJ and you're an artist, now we've already met before, I can cut you out, let you do your ad-libs, go crazy, bring mm -hmm. it back in. Mm -hmm. I can make I can make sure we, uh-uh, uh-uh, cut throw it back some, out. Throw Start some scratches back, over certain parts, Throw it back whatever. in there and, and run it back. Mm -hmm. Make me wanna play your music. Mm -hmm. But it comes with the initial uh, approach. Make me want to be a fan of you. More money. Hey, Amen. <laughs> That's easy. Hey, Amen. And, it, and it's, it's become one of those things to where I feel like uh, the skill gap's gotten so low. Like, they just let anybody with a, with a laptop be a DJ. It's, at, at some point, like, the art has got to come back. You know what I'm saying? There's DJs right now that, that Probably say I can't scratch. That was a thing. Like that was the first thing we learned how to do: scratch and do transitions. So I think right. that that art needs to come back. You know what I'm saying? Actual DJ mixtapes need to come back to where it's a DJ cutting up on there. Like I miss that part of the game. You know what I'm saying? Blend tapes. I ain't heard a blend tape in shit. I ain't heard a blend tape in a minute. Uh, it's coming. It's coming soon. December first. Spotify, DJ Nuera, we checking in, boy. <laughs> there we go. The blend god. Okay. I challenge anybody. Uh oh. 
That's about to happen? I said what I said. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you look for me, find me on the house music scene. I'm, I'm making a whole transition over to that side of things, more so just because I just enjoy the crowd more. And I'm a little older. I spent a year where I got uh, artists just yelling by throwing their pussy in my ear and shit. It just, it got old <laughs> after a minute, bro. So I'm, I, I feel like I'm the, I'm the old man. This is my retirement run. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a house music. I'm working on my Spotify. Um... I've been doing blends and I've been doing mixes for forever. You can find me on Audio Mac right now, Audio Mac, DJ New Era, ATL. But um, Spotify has become the new avenue for the the craft to come back, believe it or not. Really? With the last the last 30 to 45 to 90 days, DJs have been going crazy with blends. Like they have really brought the blend game back. And I'm not sure what happened, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm here for it. Um but um yeah, Spotify coming up, Apple Music coming up, uh, TikTok man, we close to a thousand. Maybe we're gonna go live real soon. Man. I'm waiting on that. I know I gotta do more on TikTok, but you know it is what it is. Um, but check with me, man. Uh, everything DJ New Era ATL, Instagram, Snapchat, OnlyFans. I mean, uh, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> Audio Mac, man. Everything DJ New Era ATL, man. I'm definitely, here. definitely. And make sure y'all tune in to my podcast, man. Uh, the Dope Show at Dope Enterprise on YouTube, Dope Enterprise on Facebook, Dope Dot Enterprise on Instagram, sure. man. It's like, yo, good interviews, just, you know what I'm saying, some of any and everything. I done, I done interview doctors of education as well as swinger couples, you know what I'm saying? So it, it could be a wide variety of who I have on there. So definitely check me out. Dope Enterprise on YouTube, Dope Enterprise on Facebook, Dope Die Enterprise on IG. Wow. Uh, that's a good question. I, I One, I gotta go Q from Juice. Like that's Fuck. a, to me, that's my top. The um, LL when he was in Out of Sync. Um, Bilal from House Party, like, I mean, Bilal was straight vinyl. The DJ for House the DJ for Ice-T in Breaking. Whoa. Because he Whoa. kept, he kept, he kept Ice-T piped up the whole time. <laughs> yeah. You was... might look at me. I'm like, what? Yo. And he was, he was using a tape, I think. Yeah. That but was, yeah. Damn, um, you dug for that Between one. Bilal, that DJ, um... Only reason I say juice above everybody else, well, no, because I would put Bilal in the town part two. So juice, he really, he was in record stores. He was buying records. He was saying, I needed that. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of made you want to think that I needed that kind of music, which is what, how I think my process is. Um, but Bilal and House Party 2 went crazy, though. Yeah. Um, Jamie Foxx and Players Club. Oh. Uh. Cause it's, it's smelling it's like aqua velvet in this bitch tonight. Right, right, right. So yeah. And, see, and that's the thing with strip club DJs, it's about 70% of the mic and it's less of the DJ art. You get up in there, you think you should just put your headphones on and scratch. No, 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 no. You gotta be in there talking that shit though. I gotta fucked talk up my shit. first time in the strip club. I fucked up so bad. Who you telling? I me? fucked what, up. What was your first club? Um. First strip club. It was, it was Onyx. Your I, first was Onyx? I fucked up Onyx. Damn, you showed out for your first. Listen, my I, first was Blaze. No, I tapped in with, with my guy. <laughs> and I'm I'm a I'm a trap DJ. I'm gonna tell you that, that that's my core is trap. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you 90 seconds. Tops. Strip club, I ain't know you couldn't do that in the strip club. So I'm going in out of songs like ASAP. Hook, what hook man? first, hook first, hook. I'm gonna say strip club is what? 90 seconds to two minutes, right? But uh, but I was going too fast. I was I'm I'm playing, I'm playing 200 songs an hour. Ooh. So I'm going, going, going. Right. Strip was like, baby, hold up. We tied. So I said, cool. I play, I play everything a little bit faster. Uh, I'm from Miami, so my, my, my heart beat a little bit faster than most people. So 128, give or take? My, my, 166. My, my sweet spot is probably 95 to 105. Really? Yeah, man. It's so much in there. Really? Because 95 to 105, you got, you got, you got any kind of set you can do. You got, you got the birthday set, the mm -hmm. say ahs and the, the the Beyonces and the, uh, the, the the Roddy Riches and shit. Mm -hmm. But also within that 100 to, 100 to 105, you got the you got the uh, the bounce shit. So I can go I can go chopper style. I I, I can go rocket by Master P. Mm. I can go uh, sit on that dick. 
Mm. But then I can also flip that to some, some old Miami shit to like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I said it, I said it after the fact. <laughs> hey, hold up. <laughs> for real, for real, but yeah. Between, between, <laughs> between 95, like I said, 95 to 105, you can go, you can go anywhere with that. You can go old school record, you can go new school Afro beats it, with all within that same 10 BPM. Here's my thing, as an artist, do your part on your end. Make sure before you leave the studio, you got that that full mix, you got that clean mix, and you got that studio and the, uh, the show mix. Mm -hmm. Now, you have no control over the sound system at the club. Here's the catch, neither do I. I just work there, the same way you coming in too. So we could work with it, you know what I'm saying? We do the best we can on our end. But make sure yours is where it needs to be too, as an artist. Also, if it's gonna be if it's gonna be a, at a venue or a club somewhere public, and it's not immediately that you're going there, like let's say you book something for next Friday, but it's this Friday and it's still open, but you perform it next week. Let me go on my day off. Let, let me go. Let me go. Let me go case the joint first mm -hmm. to see what to, to see what you what, what I need as an artist to give you as a DJ. Also, please, 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 please know your music. <laughs> I can't put it any simple than that. <laughs> know your music. That's I don't real. I don't wanna hear uh, this goddamn all time at got the song's already playing and you hear yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, you in the middle of like yeah hey hey right. It's like yeah you don't know you, you could I could have just played that for you at, at that point. Why are you even, even performing? Right. Like, but yeah man. Um definitely know your music and also man practice your performance. Practice your performance. Practice your performance. Practice, practice, practice. You know, also like know what a good show looks like. Um, and to the female artists out there, yo, don't be the one up there twerking the hardest. Get you some dancers. Big fast. Get you some dancers. At least one. Because because the thing is, if you up there shaking harder than your dancer, you, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the crowd and I see your ass, one of the things about being a female artist, you create the illusion that I am here and that guy wants to fuck me. All the guys out here wanna fuck me, right? But if you up there twerking and your dress coming up and your ass all the way out, they already did. You just cheapen the illusion. Let your background dancers do all that shaking and twerking. You don't never put to turn your back to the crowd to sure. show them nothing. And two more things. For one, if you're in a situation to where it's a multi-artist situation, don't leave. That's lame as fuck to me. If you if you bring in 30 people. If he bring in 30 people with him to, to perform, I bring in 15. We brought in 45. If he leave, I brought in 15, cause 30 done left. So now 30 of his people could probably be my new fans. So they leave after they perform, like it's like it's some big shit. I mean like, check them out. Cause you may want to collab with that person one day. And also researching the venue where you're performing at. Don't perform all your shit at the same, at the, at the same kind of, you know, situation. Uh, if it's if it's a if it's a trap song, let's let's not let's not do that at a baby shower. <laughs> if it's, if it's, if it's a, if it's a twerk song, let's not let's not do that at, at, at a pop up. <laughs> know the audience, you know, because that, that's gonna be the people who, who entice you to, to, to the music, you know. If I'm at a strip club, I'm gonna give you a strip club vibe and hey, listen to my new shit, check me out. But know the per like people performing slow songs in the club and it's it's fucking two a.m. <laughs> Like, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> People starting to walk out now. I'm cutting this right. shit short. Right, right. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> but, um. Oh, my bad, my bad. Hey, listen, man, this shit gotta happen, man. This shit gotta happen, man, you know? You know? But that's what's wrong with it. That's, that's, that's what's wrong right now. It's, it's way too much shit going on in the city. The city diluted and, right now, you know? We and, just, people wanna bring out, you know? And the thing is, from where we sit at the DJ booth, we see the whole club, we see everything. You know what I'm saying? That bouncer let somebody in and slipped the 50 in his pocket. We saw that. You know what I'm saying? That dude that's selling coke in the bathroom. We we know him too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, it's, it, we see everything from that DJ. Man, like, we are the true eye in the sky when it comes to any kind of club situation. Absolutely. So, check me out. This is DJ Agony. Check me out on Dope dot dope enterprise on YouTube, dope enterprise on Facebook, dope dot enterprise on Instagram, and big shouts out to Exclusive Models Magazine. 
And we out. Hey. Check, check, check. It's your boy DJ New Era, man, with the check in, man. Uh, find me on everything, DJ New Era ATL, man. Instagram, DJ New Era ATL, Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call that shit. DJ New Era ATL. Uh, uh, Audio Mac, DJ New Era ATL, man, everything. Uh, TikTok, everything is DJ New Era ATL, man. I'm one band, one brand. Uh, big shout outs. Exclusive Models Magazine, man. Check in with it, man. Tap in, man. Once again, I yes, came Lord. from the bottom. Trying to get to the top, man. DJ New Era checking in, checking out. How? Yeah.